That brings us three four-minute rounds of mixed martial arts, 142-pound weight limit. The sponsor is Outlaw Fight Gear. Controlling the action in the middle of the ring is Keith Peterson. From the blue corner, out of Brooklyn MMA, trained by Terry Gold, wearing the black trunks, he weighed at 141 pounds. From Brooklyn, New York, welcome B. Soslan Abanaco! And out of the red corner, from Belmore Kickboxing and Comac MMA, trained by Keith Trimble, Tom Muller, and Kenny Willis, wearing the right trunks, he weighed at 142 and a half pounds. From Long Island, New York, welcome, please, Tom English! Tom English has been on a tear. Uh, he lost his first pro fight here at Ring Combat 35. Knocked off three victories since then, all right here at The Rock. Alex Brasisi, great fighter, Carlos David Oliveira, and Anthony Ficini, who we saw today looking real good. So Tom's got some skills, he's got power, and uh, let's see what he can do here against Soslan Abanikov. English takes the center of the ring. Sorry, cage. Cage of Ring of Combat, actually. Actually, uh, the Ring of Combat for many years did use a ring, uh, and eventually they moved to the cage. But uh, they still call them Ring Hard Girls, so Ring Cage. It's the fighting surface. Enclosure. Enclosure, exactly. We had a throw attempt uh, defeated by uh, the athleticism of Tom English. He winds up on top and uh, sneaks into mount on the reversal attempt. You don't want Tom English on top of you. And right now, Tom English is about to rain down some punishment. Uh, very quick movements by Abanikov down there on the bottom. But uh, when Tom English gets on top of you, it's uh, a bad place to be. English has improved to taking the back mount on Bonkha's escape. He's looking for the rear naked choke. Uh, got that body lock on there, and he's looking for that quick tap out. I see blood, too. So uh, this was a, a cut elbow, or it could be from someplace else. But uh, that body triangle is a great control from English. Great control, very uncomfortable, hard to breathe. In the uh, leg to uh, further secure that position. You can't see from here, but it's clear that the choke is not there. And this is smart enough not to waste too much energy on it until right. it's a better opportunity. You know what? Sometimes you see that at the beginning that somebody's going for a choke and they burn out their arms, then, then their punching power is uh, really affected on that. Absolutely. And now English on top in the full mount. He has one great find in. Barkov uh, getting the escape. And now running down punches. Little ground and pound from Abanikov now. Abanikov gets a throw, a suplex, takes the back of English. Oh, now we got an exact reverse of where we He's have under the before. chin. They have the choke. English working on the grip. English patient, and he may get the uh, escape here, or he may get mounted. Wow, this well, is half guard. Back and forth, seesaw action right now. Both fighters had the mount, both were going for that rear naked choke. Everything you can do, I can do better. You know what, we're seeing a little bit of everything in this fight on the ground. Still a bit of a scramble position, it's not clearly mount. Trying to throw that right hand. English controlled underneath the side mount now. Uh, Barnacup is uh, softening up with some knees to the body. English with the scramble going. Still has underhook. They're standing again. Barnacup trying to land some knees to the body. Oh, a little spinning move there by Barnacup. Referee almost got caught by that one. <laughs> and Keith Peterson actually acknowledged that. He could take a punch. I would not have hurt Keith Peterson, I can tell you that. Spinning back kick uh, deflected. Doesn't seem to uh, do any damage. It looks like uh, Bonikov's got a cut eye there. And he's got some vicious uh, leg kicks, actually. As we come down to the final seconds of the first round. 
ducks the spinning back kick from English, another, gets the takedown. Another wild one at the ring of combat. Not enough time to fix the triangles, the round ends. Both guys looking to finish each other, which I can appreciate. Yeah, no, they, these guys are not playing. They are swinging. That's round number two. Fun leader from Outlaw Fight Gear. And here's the second round of this bout. Ghostline, Abanaco, and Tom English. Don't forget the after fight party, the ladies and gentlemen, right here in Providence, AC. All messed up. They have the no priorities all messed up. ID required. The ball fighters are getting instruction shows. in their corner. Everybody out of the pool. The bell, the uh, whistle has been blown. And you see Keith Trimble there. Belmore kickboxing. Excellent trainer, as we mentioned. Last second clean up in the blue corner. These guys are uh, getting round ready two. to get to it. Keith Peterson does it all. Okay, and here we go, round two. First round was pretty wild. A uh, uh, very tough one to score on that one. Leave the takedowns and uh, the control position. You have to give it to Abanikov, even though Tom had the uh, early advantage. See if this one goes to a decision. The way they're fighting, I have a feeling it may not. Well, it was to the body. To the body. So, you know, okay. no, uh, if your hand or foot or knee is on the ground, get, oh, that one looked like it was in the chin. Do it with the hands on the ground. It's just the bottom of the feet touching the ground. So it was a uh, tough knees to Tom English's chest. Playing the line. Playing the line. A gamesmanship on the fighters' parts here when they keep a hand or a knee on the ground unnecessarily for, uh, for grappling or driving just to stop the strikes. Uh, they're illegal at the base of the head. And Abanikov has shown a great clinch so far. He's been able to do a lot of throws and just uh, maintain that clinch. But it's English who has him pushed against the cage right now. Abanikov's uh, breathing's a little bit different. His mouth's open. I think he uh, may have uh, cooked himself a little bit with his, uh, his efforts. He has to recover. English looks uh, no worse from there. Bonacoff pulls off a pretty clever throw that doesn't go completely his way and may have his back taken because of it. You know, you got to be precise. And, and as you say, once you start getting tired, technique takes a little bit of a downturn in sloppiness. Stay relaxed, stay calm. And your technique's a lot more crisp. Like lettuce. And as I mentioned, Anthony Ficini uh, is a uh, was uh, for Tom English uh, for tonight. He lost to Tom English, so uh, so his victory uh, tonight comes back from uh, his loss to a very able opponent. Right, and it just shows you the level of, of talent in there right now. And right now, it's English once again working for that rear naked choke. Bonacob is trying to turn into him and kill that angle. Turning more into a side choke. Then the scramble happened to Bonacob back on top. Out of danger for now. Let's see if English can work off his back as well as he's been uh, working on the back of the Bonacob. Tom English. He's bringing 
post legs up. And Abanikov looking to do some pound. Just uh, putting his arm around the head, keeping him low, not letting him puff make space. But then pushing him away. Look at the up kick to the head. Leg kicks. Top standing man to bottom man. Round ends. That round was uh, definitely uh, closer. Could go either way. That round was uh, close, and you could see that uh, you know the adrenaline a little bit is worn off. It wasn't quite a, a frantic a, a pace as the first round, but still, you know what? they expended a lot of energy. This is their group in the lobby for all your MMA women's here. Well, the question the judge is going to ask around are submission attempts that uh, English have uh, as, a, as tried for in this uh, round better than the uh, control and striking that Bonikov has uh, had this round. It's really a toss up round. Both guys have uh, used quite a bit of energy. So, uh, let's see what the third round. Uh, as in store, these guys will recover well during the rest period. The, re the old cliche, who wants it more? But you know, it's, it's a cliche, but it's true. One of the things I was good at as a fighter was recovering. I could recover better than anybody if I could get to that stool and, uh, and rest was a real gift. In the early days, we had no stool. They gave us the water over the top of the cage. I felt like a hamster in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tougher than running on a, on a wheel. Bonacoff threw a left hook, but I mean uh, a jab, just really not much on it though. So this is kind of a truce right now too. Uh, guys making a little space, covering, and uh, might come back together hard. I see a collision with that. Striking the out of the cover. Bonacoff liking those uh, spinning strikes. For this jumping Superman punch, land anything clean. Uh, Superman punch, you know, it's been finding a lot of success uh, in MMA. Ducking is its kryptonite. True. You know what? But you, so the, the whole thing about that is it's sneaky. You think a kick is coming and it's the punch. True, true, true. Misdirection. And a takedown attempt by Bonikov, stuffed by Tom English. A slower fatigue. Affected uh, take down attack. English has uh, top control now from headlock. What's he gonna do with it? English inside control. Bonacoff gets the underhook, but English transitions to full mount and now starts striking. Right, and it's tough, you know, Bonacoff is keeping his head close and you've gotta be careful with the back of the head there. But now, English frames him away and starts to ground and pound. He's English. Cover it up and bobbing and weaving by Abanakov on the bottom. Now there's intelligent defense, but now he's giving up his back again. English gets another chance at uh, finishing up the submission here. Well, let's see if third time's a charm because uh, he's had Abanakov in this position twice already, and uh, Abanakov has uh, been able to get out of it. That was a fresher Abanakov. This is uh, deeper into the uh, match, so uh, English gets his body uh, locked. From the rear, and he starts working for the choke. Well, no hurry. Kind of dominant position. Looks good to the judges. Bonacoff going a little over the top uh, punches, which uh, hopefully uh, disrupt the position. You have a chance to escape in his eyes. And yeah, that, you know, really no leverage, though. To, Never to finishes the fight. <laughs> Yeah, I, I very rarely do you see a fight finish uh, with strikes late from the guard, but it, it does happen. Uh, it's not impossible, but pretty rare. And Tom English looking to, to wrap up that rear naked choke still. Chris Brennan has the uh, unfortunate uh, uh, history of being one of the guys finished from the top of guard uh, with strikes. He, uh, he hit an elbow from the top of guard and uh, went out. Brennan, another old school name, uh, but right now we're watching the new school guys, and uh, both of these up-and-comers, given everything they've got at the Ring of Combat, they know that fighters from the Ring of Combat are being scouted by the UFC, Bellator, Strikeforce, and uh, the fighters.
fighters here go on to big things. Lots well, of opportunity, sponsorship. It's one of these things these guys uh, can live on instead of having to have a regular job while they're fighting. So that's uh, another good reason to uh, give it your all when you're fighting in the ring combat. All right, and right now, you know, a lot of this round, a good percentage of this round is Tom English in that position. He's actually getting through and landing some shots here. Uh, he may want to transition to the mount. He's looking a minute left, that's 10 seconds. Uh, 10 seconds left, and uh, right now, third round went Tom English's way, and it looks like uh, he's gonna prove the victory here. Oh, and he's still trying to finish. Oh. Right to the end. Right to the end, and uh, he was probably at his closest point just at the very end of the fight. Uh, probably a victory for Tom English. Two rounds to one. Won't second guess the judges, though. Showing off your ESP skills. At least it doesn't give me a round of applause. So fun. Uh, the knockout, Tom English, a hardcore contest. Waiting for the judges' scoring. Actually, just peeking over in the, in the, the, the judges' uh, margarita from fighting the pad. Outdoor fight here. No. Around for a girl. Please visit the booth in the lobby for all your MMA wearing gear. I'm going to meet the fighters, round card girls at the Astro Fight Party, Providence AC, right here at the Tropicana, the hottest spot on the boardwalk. ID is required, no sneakers, trendy upscale dress code. Go into the Providence and go upstairs to the private Ring of Combat Party tonight, right after the show. My wife told me to wear shoes and I wore sneakers instead, and now I'm paying for it. Tom the Terror English. He will be at the after party probably, celebrating his victory while you just mope around outside. I'll, I'll be on the parkway. <laughs> I'll be on the parkway driving north. And we just tallying up the cards. See over there Nick Lembo and Aaron Davis. The scorekeeper for tonight's fight is Anthony TikTok Lit. He's also a timekeeper. I was refereeing a few matches, and I believe it was 2002. Uh, while we we're waiting for the judge's decision, uh, one of the fighters returned and said, "It's not freaking trigonometry. Just add them together and tell us who won." Well, you know what? Uh, you know, I, as the ring announcer, I, I wait over Ladies there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce while waiting for the judges, Orkod World Champion Boy Thai Fighter Radu. He'll be fighting on our September card, September 14th, right here at the Tropicana. Radu, crazy Radu. And uh, they, Nick Lembo personally, you know, checks off on those cards, and they, they do a quick little math. So well, that's uh, a good know. reason it, it takes a little while. The accuracy, it's very important to these guys' records that it's done the right way. So the fighters off. All the right, uh, Brad Du, World I'm Champion Boy Fighter. Fighter. Need to make sure He's a right. big guy. He'll be fighting here in September, September 14th, right here. Who then they return to? He's at least five ten. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, that, this should be All interesting, right. obviously, right got a heavyweight there, and uh, world champion Muay Thai, you know he's got bombs in his hands and feet, so that should be a lot of fun. Question is, of course, how's this ground game? We're going to find out in September. Fighters waiting to find out the future of their records. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Billick had it 29-28, blue corner, Abanaco. Judge Rodriguez scored the fight 29-29 for a draw. Judge Augustin scored the fight 29-28. For winner by majority decision, he came out of the blue corner. So fly, Avanaco, our belt winner. All right. Well, the second round uh, was a close round, so uh, definitely uh, through the judges so saw it fly. that way. Trained uh, by Terry Gold out of Brooklyn for, uh, MMA. Yep, you know what? I never second guess the judges. Like I said, we're sitting from one angle. They're sitting around the cage. Uh, that's their job. So, 
ever would argue with that. But uh, it was a, a definitely an entertaining fight. And ladies and gentlemen, before we bring out the fighters for our next fight,